Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about skin health formulations, ingredients, the longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you want to purchase any of our longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can get your products at the wholesale price and start yourself a little longevity business, make a little money or make a lot of money. Some folks are making thousands of dollars a month, many thousands of dollars a month. Some folks are making $100 a month or $500 a month or even $1,000 a month, whatever you want to do. And the products sell themselves, folks. Just give somebody a couple sips of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and and that's pretty much all it takes for most people. Most people will notice results uh, within the first dose, certainly, and almost everybody will get good results within two or three days. And by results, I'm talking weight loss. I'm talking lower blood pressure, more energy, just feeling better. It's great first thing in the morning. I first thing in the morning I get a I put uh, I put some BTT powder and some water and shake it up right after I brush my teeth. First thing I do. And I'm sipping on the BTT and I get up pretty much five, six o'clock every morning and I am rocking. No coffee, no caffeine. It's not necessary. Anyway. 866-735-2470, or you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so I want to say a few more things about lecithin, the biochemical that you get from foods, uh, and you can get it as a supplement, you can get it from foods as well. Lecithin is found in all cells of the body. The benefits of lecithin include all the all cells of the body. It's a component of all the cells of the body and a key component at that. So that means you get benefits for everything when you use lecithin, but particularly you get benefits for the heart, the digestive system, and the nervous system. Lecithin is a component of bile. That means it's going to help clear out excess cholesterol. That's important for cardiovascular health. It's going to keep cholesterol from being so sticky. It'll help cholesterol get transported into the liver. It helps us dissolve fatty nutrients. That also is going to have a a benefit for the heart. And, of course, it's going to have a benefit for your digestive system, particularly if you had a gallbladder taken out. If you have liver issues, you had a gallbladder removed, you have intestinal issues, you have dysbiosis, which is messed up gut bacteria, you want to at least think about using lecithin as a supplement, in my opinion. Even if we're healthy but we're just going high fat or, or going ketogenic. This is where, how we started talking about less than if you're going ketogenic, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of supplements you can use to improve or to maximize or to optimize the benefits that you get from the ketogenic diet. Lecithin is one of those. Even if you're just eating a lot of fat, it's, it's not a bad idea to use lecithin pretty much for anybody. It's not a bad idea to use lecithin as a supplement on a regular basis, if not on a daily basis. As far as your brain goes, as far as brain health issues go, lecithin can be super, super helpful for the brain. 
Lesithin is an electrical, it's kind of an electrical molecule, it has an electrical nature to it. Scientists are exploring using the electrical nature of lecithin for a lot of different things, for binding metals in the electronics business. In the body, the electrical nature of lecithin makes it really helpful for Alzheimer's disease and for Parkinson's disease, two conditions that, again, you might want to think about using lecithin. Not, not as a cure, not as a cure for, less, for Parkinson's. I'm not saying that it's some kind of magical remedy, but as a way of potentially, anyway, reducing the symptoms. From the European Journal of Clinical Investigation, this was published online March 2008. Patients were given a daily dose uh, uh, say Parkinson's disease patients, less than treatment of cognitively impaired Parkinson's patients. So they took Parkinson's patients. Each patient took a daily dose of 32 grams of a commercial lecithin preparation. Indications, uh, market, uh, uh, indications of a positive treatment effect were obtained on memory, cognition, and motility tests. That's for Parkinson's. Another uh, Another uh, article from 1980, Current Topics in Extrapyramidal Disorders, Pyramidal Systems, Part of the Brain, uh, from 1980, uh, Lecithin and Parkinson's Disease, as a, test of the as a test of the hypothesis that Lecithin works for Parkinson's disease, we have given uh, 10 levodopa-treated Parkinsonian patients with dementia a regimen of lecithin, 20 grams a day, a clear improvement in the test of co uh, constructive, uh, something called the co uh, Coase Block Design Test of Constructive Ability. But anyway, they noticed a clear improvement and a decrease of the toxic symptoms of confusion, hallucination, and nightmares. That's 20 grams of lecithin. Now, keep in mind here, guys, there's no drugs for lecithin. Or, uh, there's no drugs for Parkinson's. There's no drugs that can give you that kind of benefit. Now, these were not unbelievably curative benefits, but there's no drug that can do this. When was it the last time a doctor prescribed lecithin for anybody with Parkinson's? Lecithin's role is supportive, and it's undeniably supportive for, for all degenerative diseases, especially brain diseases. But it's not curative. Curative, you've got to go back to the triangle of disease. If you want to really, truly reverse the symptoms of, of disease, you're going to need to go back to the triangle. That's why I have a problem with people... And sometimes we say, take this supplement if you have this problem, and you know, uh, this for that, I call it. You have to go back to the basics, the triangle of disease. That means the digestive system, you've got to work on that food elimination, elimination diet, caloric restriction, fasting. And by the way, there's a lot of good literature about caloric restriction and, uh, and uh, Alzheimer's disease and, and Parkinson's, uh, Parkinson's disease, disease, which are basically the same thing. Alzheimer's is Parkinson's, okay? functionally and pretty much the same even even histologically even in the brain in terms of the tissue itself basically the brain is just dissolving so anyway caloric restriction increases neurotropic factor levels and attenuates neurochemical and behavioral deficits in parkinson's disease caloric restriction fasting intermittent fasting and caloric restriction uh, ameliorate age related behavioral deficits in alzheimer's disease Fasting can help against brain diseases. That's from The Guardian. Caloric restriction and intermittent fasting, two potential dyes for successful aging. That's from Aging Research Reviews. You guys, this is not a medical issue. The only people who think it's a medical issue are the people who bought the cool, who have bought the line or have drank the Kool-Aid or the people who are making money from it. There's no drugs for Parkinson's or for Alzheimer's because these are not medical issues. Go back to the triangle, work on the digestive system, stabilize the blood sugar. We've talked about how Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes. And calm the body down. Make sure you're oxygenating correctly. There's a major connection between thyroid health and the brain, by the way, that nobody talks about. I would venture to say that every single person who has Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, or any, any degenerative disease, really, has at least some degree of thyroid dysfunction. So anyway, that's a triangle of disease. And if you focus on the triangle, rest assured, both the symptoms of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, like all degenerative conditions, can be improved dramatically without drugs and doctors. But that doesn't mean the drug, the drug companies aren't going to try. That doesn't mean they're not trying. They're still, we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. If you're interest, interested in purchasing any of our 
uh, skin health products, Truth Treatment Skin Health Products. Please head over to truthtreatments.com. Check out our retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Balm, all made with vitamin C and lots of it. Lots of the good stuff. I like to formulate my products like your grandmother formulated brownies. She didn't worry about her shelf life. She didn't worry about her uh, shipping costs or her packaging costs. She just wanted to make the best darn brownie she could. So she put lots of the good stuff in there, and that's what the truth is about. Lots of the good stuff, none of the stuff you don't need. No wax, no filler, no oil, no silicon, no nothing. Your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, and that is the truth. If you are interested in checking out our Longevity products, please go to pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, benfuchsarchives.com, or you can also check out brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Okay, so we're talking about the brain and lecithin here. Uh, earlier this week, an FDA committee voted 12 to 2 that the benefits of something called New Plazid, made by Acadia, outweigh the risks of taking new plaza. The benefits of taking this drug outweigh the risks. The risks include all kinds of things, including death. But this drug apparently, according to the FDA, anyway, this committee, uh, it's, uh, it's worth it. Not that new plaza really does anything for Parkinson's. It's actually specifically for Parkinson's dementia, which incurs in uh, half, nearly half the people who have Parkinson's disease. And dementia, of course, is Alzheimer's as well. That's because Parkinson's is Alzheimer's. Same disease. It's not a special thing. The brain is just decaying, it's just decaying in a different place. That doesn't make it a different disease. That the degenerative process, it's not even a disease. It's a degenerative process. That's how we want to think about these things. They're not diseases, they're not things. It's the same breakdown that just, wherever it is, it's arthritis of the brain. There's no special diseases. It's in terms of degeneration I'm talking about, in terms of chronic degenerative diseases. There's no special diseases. The, the whole nomenclature thing, naming thing, you know, reality is created in language. Language is really sneaky stuff. As any uh, marketer will tell you, people get degrees in how to manipulate us with language. They're called marketers. And language is a very, very tricky thing, language. Some of the greatest philosophers in the world studied language. So we get this language of disease, we get this language of naming, nomenclature, and it makes us think that we have a special disease, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. This is an this is industrial corporate self-serving scam so that innocent and suffering patients can have the privilege of, uh, of having special doctors and special drugs and special foundations and special hats and special t-shirts uh, and, and ice bucket challenges and pink ribbons and none of, which, none of which makes a wits bit of difference in getting us healthier. You can race for the cure all you want. What we call diseases are not about cures. They're about being healthy. A cure doesn't make you healthy in terms of degenerative disease, diseases. And I'm not talking about antibiotics and, and infections. Th those are different. I'm talking about progressive, long-term degenerative diseases. We need to make that distinction. You know, the medical model doesn't want us to make that distinction. It collapses these two ideas. Oh, a miracle, antibiotics, we cured you of infection. Now here's something for your Parkinson's disease. It squeezes these two separate ideas together. Infections, antibiotics, they work, obviously. Parkinson's drugs don't work, obviously. Diabetes drugs don't work, obviously. Oh, but my markers, oh, my, my blood glucose went down. That's not, doesn't mean your diabetes went away. Oh, but uh, I, I don't have the same jitteriness. My arms aren't shaking as much. Well, that doesn't mean your Parkinson's went away. So anyway, say so at this committee, FDA committee says it's okay to go ahead with the approval process for neuplasia, which doesn't do anything for dementia. It disguises some of the symptoms by hyping the brain up. This is how they treat dementia. They stick neuro, they, they upregulate neurochemicals to disguise some of the symptoms. And this despite the, the FDA scientists themselves in a review said the drug, quote, minimally improved, unquote, hallucinations and delusions while exposing, exposing patients to a, quote, substantial safety risk, unquote, but that includes death. According to the FDA's own assessment, so for minimal improvement that exposes patients to a substantial safety risk, including death, that's a drug we're going to approve and your doctor is going to give it to you. 
So there's no drug, let's be clear here, there's no drugs that can do anything other than at best reduce some of the unpleasant symptoms of Parkinson's disease or dementias or Alzheimer's or Bell's palsy or MS or any other nervous system disorders, or for that matter, for arthritis or ulcerative colitis or sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis or pulmonary fibrosis or you name it because these are not medical issues. And the only reason these things are on the market is to take advantage of this, take advantage of the suffering. If you know anyone who's dealing with any of these things, no one needs to suffer and no one needs a doctor for any of these so-called diseases. If you need some surgery, go to a doctor or a surgeon. But for degenerative diseases, we got to get it through our heads that this, these are not doctor issues. The best a doctor can do is educate us. That's what a doctor is supposed to do anyway. To, uh, doctrine, doctor, it's about education. It's not about drugging. This, is, this got, all got shifted over in the middle of the 19th century. Or not really, even before that. It got going in a big way in the middle of the 19th century. But right around the time of this guy Paracelsus in the 1600s, I think it was the 1600s, maybe it was even earlier actually, uh, it was a long time ago, five, six, seven hundred years ago, this guy Paracelsus came up with the idea of mixing together and crushing together herbs and, and using them as medicine in a systematic fashion. But it's not, he didn't know what he, he didn't understand the nature of degeneration because we didn't even understand the body back then. Today, we are, it's got to be eminently clear to anybody who observes how sick we're getting compared to how much medicine we have and how many doctors we have and how many diagnostics we have. It is crystal clear that the medical model doesn't work, but doesn't matter because these are all lifestyle issues. And that is such good news, folks. That is such good news. Degeneration can turn into regeneration. And this is not an assertion. I'm not saying this to you because I think it or believe it. I'm telling you it's common sense. Degeneration means the body's breaking down. So regeneration is the body building up. All we got to do is figure out how to go from degeneration to regeneration. That's called reversing. That's called a reversal. Going from degeneration to regeneration. That's what reversibility is all about. It's just logical. The brain and the nervous system, when a brain and nervous system diseases, they're like all degenerative diseases. They're just the body breaking down. There's an initiating factor that causes the body to break down, and it's not mysterious. It's not a magical bug. It's not a prion. Unless you're a representative of the medical model, there's no mystery here. It's not unknown. And it's most certainly not an opportunity to carpet bag and exploit and leverage the misery and the suffering and the grief of innocent people into financial gain. Degeneration occurs because the body doesn't get what it needs and it's got to deal with stuff it doesn't want. It's as simple as that. The bad stuff's getting in and the good stuff isn't. I know that sounds simplistic, but that's what it is because the body is, is a regenerating system. Its nature is to heal and regenerate itself at all turns. So you take the bad stuff out and you put the good stuff in and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's from a degenerative standpoint are the same as any other degenerative disease. Eliminate the crappy food, reduce the calories, and make sure you're getting on a good nutritional supplement program and eating correctly as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say here, and then we'll take your calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to benfuchsarchives.com, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, and you can order products right off the website or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. We got a blog up at criticalhealthnews.com and videos, and we also have a blog at pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you would like to check out our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, if you're dealing with acne issues or if you want to prevent the signs of aging, wrinkles, retinoic acid and retinol are the only two. Uh, retinol, retinoic acid, retinol, and vitamin C are the only three strategies. Retinoic acid and retinol are basically the same thing, functionally anyway. Vitamin A and vitamin C, we'll say, are the only two things you can use topically to really make any significant difference on your skin. This is something I learned in pharmacy school, and it's something I, I continue to learn as a compounding pharmacist, compounding skin. I, I compounded skin care products for eczema and for wrinkles and for acne for 32 years as a compounding pharmacist in probably what was only the only skin care compounding pharmacy in the United States, maybe even in the world, where all we did was skin care. No medicine, no drugs. It was all just skin care. Anyway, truthtreatments.com, truth. truth 
Treatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Serum, all representing culminations of everything that I've learned in 32 years as a skin health compounding pharmacist. Okay, got a letter here. Got a, I just got this note here. This is really cool from Stan. If Stan's listening, thank you so much for this. My wife has gone ketogenic for six days, and her blood pressure has dropped 40 points. Thank you for all you do, Ben, Stan. Should I say that again, folks? My wife has gone ketogenic for six days, and her blood pressure has dropped 40 points. What kind of drug can do this? No drugs. You know how much toxicity uh, this, this uh, woman's got now from her ketogenic diet that dropped her blood pressure 40 points? You know how much toxicity? None. She added years to her life. She's improved every single marker of health from her brain to her reproductive system to her digestive system to her cardiovascular system. And her blood pressure's dropped 40 points. When was the last time a doctor wrote a prescription for the ketogenic diet? Never. Another one from Ralph sent me this one last night. Uh, uh, thank you, Ben. You're, uh, I'm not going to tell you all the good stuff here about me, but it says, at first I was skeptical of supplementing, but now I am a true believer. The positive results from Longevity products are, in my opinion, in my opinion, are undeniable. He says uh, he was skeptical. He, was 50, uh, he says he was always healthy. He was 53. Quote, I began to notice that after workouts, the fatigue and recovery time was slow and difficult. However, after a while, I took a leap of faith and purchased the original BTT. I noticed results from the B vitamins within three or four minutes of my first few sips. Where have you heard that before? I'm telling you, folks, this is the real deal. From then on, I was sold. I now supplement with BTT, EFAs, enzymes, probiotics, OsteoFX, glucogels, and one more away. I feel I'm in good health, never catch any bugs, never suffer from fevers. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the BTT. You'll find that at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Steve in Florida. Good morning, Steve. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, Ben? Doing good. How's it going out there? Where yeah, are you? We're good. in Florida. Are you by the beach? Hey. Yeah, Panama City. Where? Oh, Panama City. Nice. Spring break. Yeah. Spring break coming up, right? Yeah. Well, they just got through with that, but they oh, they just got through. They've been heaven. <laughs> do you do, yeah. do you uh, live? You actually live in, in Panama City as that's your residence, huh? Yeah, that's it. What do the, what do people think when spring break comes around? Is it a good thing? Uh, uh, the last few years they don't like it too much, but uh, I think with the uh, the regulations and the changes and all they've made here, they've really put a damper on the uh, kids coming. Oh, they have. So does it, does it affect business at all? Oh uh, yes, we've had a lot of complaints of that. Yeah, all right, I've never been to Panama City. That's up north, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's in the panhandle. Panhandle, course. right. Yeah. All right, so what's what's going on? How can we help you, Steve? Hey, um, I, I, I want to do this, uh, ask this for my, for my younger brother. Uh, he's been in the hospital two months. Uh, he had his, He's had his third um, open heart surgery. Okay. And um, uh, he did fine, but when they put, the, a re, uh, put a new fibrillator in him after the surgery, he went downhill. Now he's got all kinds of life threatening problems. Oh, my goodness. They how old? Know, they don't know what's going on. He's how 56 old? years old. 56? 56. Okay. Yeah, so now right. he's got all this fluid that's drowning his organs, his liver. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. And all, all right. this stuff. And, they, and, and I'm just wondering, this is what I'm wondering. If yeah. there's some way that we can vitalize these organs and get oh, them yeah. out of it. Oh, yeah. The Here, blood pressure is too low. Oh, yeah. He's a mess. He's falling apart. He's dissolving in front of your eyes. Remember the Wicked Witch of yeah. the West? Remember the Wicked Witch of the West in the movie The oh, Wizard yeah. of Oz? I'm melting. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Except, That's except right. He, right? He's dissolving. So here's the deal. Good news, bad news. Good news is he's 56 years old, and uh, he's still relatively young. Okay. More good news is the sicker we are, the faster we turn it around. And this is a very sick guy, which means he's going to turn this thing around very fast. Not completely very fast, but he's going to begin to turn it around in 24 hours. In 48 to 72 hours, he can notice some really significant differences. Now, he's very degenerated, so he's going to take a while to completely do this thing. But to begin, you'll notice results quickly because the great gift of the human body is the sicker we are, the faster we turn it around. 
And the, just like the more weight we need to lose, the faster we lose the weight. Whatever the degenerative process is, the more significant it is, the more dramatic the results will be. And he's 56 and he's young. The bad news is he's 56 and he's young. So he's on a very rapid road to demise. And I'm just being frank here. And so you got to you got to take corrective measures immediately. So how do you do it when the body is this compromised and the body's falling apart? And I get letters like this all the time, by the way. So you're in good company. Your brother's in good company. When the body is this degenerated, it, I always think of my kitchen after I cook. Do you cook, Steve? Yeah. Okay. Do you ever do you ever make like a big part have a big party for somebody or maybe just a friend and you just cooked like crazy and you got all these pots and pans and dishes and everything's all grimy and it's all disgusting and it's all in the in the sink and it's piled up high. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you got stuff all over the kitchen and it's, you know it's just a big mess. So what do you do? You look at it. And you go. I just want to go to bed. I don't. I'll think about it tomorrow. No, you don't do that. What you got to do is you got to pick up a spoon. And you pick up the spoon, and you wash the spoon, you rinse the spoon, and you put it in the dishwasher. Then you take another spoon, and you do the same thing. Then you take a, a fork. Then you take a cup. Then you take a pan. Then you start doing uh, whatever, uh, the pot. One at a time, steps at a, single steps. You don't want to be overwhelmed, because if you're overwhelmed, you're just going to go to bed and not do anything. If you're overwhelmed in the body, you're just going to take a drug and not do anything. You've got to start with single steps. And when the body is this calm, compromise, the first step you're always going to take is with the digestive system. Always, always, always. That's your first spoon. When you do this model for accomplishing anything, by the way, and, and you can do it for cleaning your house, cleaning your garage, whatever you want to do that's unpleasant to do, you start with a single step. And pretty soon, all of a sudden, the kitchen's clean. All of a sudden, you're feeling better if you start with a single step. And that single step, it has to be with the digestive system. So the first thing he's got to do is he's got to start keeping track of everything he eats and how he responds. Steve, hang tight because there's a whole bunch more I'm going to tell you, okay? And this is for everybody okay. out there who's dealing with these kinds of massive, intractable problems that seem out of control. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Thank you so much for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com, and also pharmacistben.com. From the journal Diabetologia, a journal of the European Association for the Study of Diabetes, Type 1 diabetes is linked to a triple increase in the risk of epilepsy. This is what we're talking about. The body breaks down as a system. This is called comorbidity. Comorbidity means different diseases or different uh, various diseases associated with the same person. Comorbidity. When you have one disease, you're more likely to have other diseases because the body breaks down as a system. We're talking to Steve in Florida. Steve, you there, man? Yeah, Ben, I just want to let you know he's on a feeding uh, tube oh, okay. and, a, and a ventilator. Okay, well, he's on a feeding tube. Then we'll start even, even we got to go even back backwards even further. In fact, really the first thing you want to do when the body's this degenerated is get him some nutrients quickly because you get this downward spiral, Steve, where the lack of nutrients causes the body to break down, which causes more lack of nutrients, which causes the body break, to break down more, which causes more lack of nutrients. So you get this vicious spiral. So the way you want to cut, the you, first thing you got to do is cut the, cut the head off the snake. So the circle ends. And the way you do that is by put, pounding the liquid nutrition. Now, if, you can, if he's on a feeding tube, see if you can get him some BTT. See if they'll let you do that. You know, it's tough when he's in a hospital. He's in a hospital, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's tough to get him nutrition in the hospital because they're going to, you know, they basically own you in the hospital. But theoretically, you want to get him some BTT if you can, beyond tangy tangerine. If not, they don't want the BTT, and sometimes they don't, uh, get him some chicken soup or some... Uh, uh, vegetable juice. He needs a high concentration of easy to process liquid nutrition. Does that make sense? Per sure particularly does. the electrical nutrients, which are the B complex, vitamin C, and the electrolytes. And I'm just going to be theoretical here because I don't know what you're going to get to do. He's in the hospital. But theoretically, you need to pound when this, for anybody out there listening who's dealing with a bunch of, a uh, whole uh, a slew of symptomology, you've got to start with one step. Start with what? Start with a spoon. Uh, the BTT is your spoon. Then if you can work on the digestive system. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm only being theoretical here, Steve, because there's not much you could do. He's in the hospital. They own him. 
But theoretically, you got to work on the digestive system because you can't get nutrition if the digestive system is compromised. So that's the first thing to do is patch up the digestive system. Food diary, probiotics, a caloric restriction, ketogenic diet, anything you could do to minimize the work the digestive system has to do. Ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, bile salts. There's a whole bunch of things you could do. Next thing is the blood sugar. Uh, the connection between the blood sugar and the a cardiovascular system is like two peas in a pod. It's like hand and glove. Blood sugar issues synonymous with cardiovascular issues. If they're synonyms. And the mechanism is, is obvious to anybody who understands how the body works even a little bit. Sugar messes up. Sugar sticks to things. It's like putting sugar in your gas tank. You know, you ever hear that old joke people are, or, or prank people will play? They put sugar in people's gas tank. Well, sugar sticks to the gas tank. It makes the gums everything up. Well, it does the same thing to our gas tank, which is our circulatory system. So it gums everything up. So going on a ketogenic diet, low carb, zero carb if you can, or not zero carb because you need veggie carbs, but zero refined carbs, B vitamins again. Again, zinc. These are all ways to stabilize the blood sugar. Chromium, vanadium, sulfur, selenium, vitamin D, omega fatty acids, more protein. More protein is just a great strategy anyway for anybody who's degenerating. And then third, and again, he's in the hospital, so you, got, you don't really have a lot of control this way, but calming the body down and make sure respiration is occurring as it should. Oxygen and carbon dioxide, both slowly. And this isn't for you, Steve, because I don't, I don't tell you he's in the hospital, but for other people dealing with degenerative issues, the parasympathetic, the relaxation nerve nervous system is what regulates the healing process. So calming the body down is essential. And carbon dioxide and oxygen are play key roles in there in that. Uh, mental and emotional strategies as well. Massage, body work, relaxation. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, Steve, because he's in the hospital. If you can get him the BTT, that's the best you could do probably. You have to work with your doctors on that. I wish I, had, I, wish I could tell you more. If you ever get him out of there, we can put him on an entire program. I'm glad to do that. All right, Steve? All right, man. Take care, bro. Have a beautiful day. Good luck with everything. God you bless too. you. All right. That's, I just hate that's, you know, when the hospital owns the guy. What are you going to do? All right. 844-236-6010 is our number from the New England, New England Journal of Medicine. I love this one. Illusion of control leads to inappropriate medical treatments. Illusion of control. The therapeutic illusion, an unjustified belief in treatment has been proven uh, consistently, physicians have reported overestimating the benefits of their treatments. That's from the New England Journal of Medicine, folks, and it gets worse. I'll tell you about them, finish this up when we come back. Actually, I want to take Jody here from Ohio. What's up, Jody? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Um, my husband has shingles. Okay. And how, what? How old's your husband? On, on his, he is 50, 58. 58, okay. And, uh, and any any is he on any medicine other than shingle stuff? Is he on any medication, regular medication? No, no, no none at uh, all. And they, these are on his face. That's awful. And that's a that's awful. It, what what's his height horrible. to weight? His height is five Roughly. nine. Yeah. And his weight is two two fifty. Okay. Well, we got a body that's breaking down. Shingles occurs when the body breaks down. Shingles occurs in older folks and people who have some kind of biochemical weakness because the immune system can't do its business. Shingles shouldn't happen because the immune system takes care of it. But under conditions of burden and stress, the immune burden and stress, the immune system becomes weak. And so we can't handle things as effectively as we can, as we might. So the first thing you want to do, well, uh, let me give you some some nutrients that you might want to start taking right away. Selenium is very, very important for all infections and all immune system issues. 400 microgram, micrograms a day. Vitamin C in high doses as well. Super important for the immune system. 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. And in addition to is beyond tangy tangerine. Try not to take, if you take it all at once or too much all at once, you might get a little crampy or bloaty, so divide the doses. Zinc is another extremely important mineral for the immune system. He should be doing 50 milligrams a day. He should do, all of this is right away, by the way. He should be doing this right away today. And then uh, another extremely important nutrient for the immune system is vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Now, 5'9", uh, 250, I think you said. That's a sign yeah. of that's a sign that his blood sugar is out of whack. Unless he's a you know lifting weights and he's a playing football or something like that, but I doubt that if he's 58. Yeah. 
so that's a sign that his blood sugar is whacked out. Under conditions of dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, he's going to be more prone towards immune problems. So in the long, not in the long run, but over the course of the next few days and weeks, he might want to start to get his diet under control. Sugar will, is a powerful suppressant of the immune system. As soon as you eat sugar, your immune, your immune activity drops immediately. If you do it chronically and consistently, and by sugar I mean bread and pasta and cereal and all the foods that would make us gain weight, our immune system is chronically suppressed. You see where I'm going with this, Jody? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so you got to support all that. This is I'm, I, I hate doing the remedy thing where I tell you vitamin A and zinc and vitamin C and selenium, but they're important, and if he's dealing with an infection, he needs some help right away. So that you definitely want to start those, those supplements immediately. But in the long run, we want to take care of the problem here. So you got to address the dysglycemia by doing the whole diabetes thing. And he may not have been diagnosed as a diabetic. Has he been diagnosed? No. Okay, well, rest assured he's got messed up blood sugar. The word diabetes is, a, is, a, is it's just a, a term that they give you when you have a certain criteria met of blood sugar, of the blood sugar being messed up. But it doesn't matter. If you go by symptoms, he's got the signs of it. So you've got to stabilize the blood sugar. More protein would be great for him. And then use blood sugar stabilizing nutrients like the Sweeties. Also, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack. That goes without saying. If he's got any digestive issues, the immune system is headquartered in the gut. There's satellites in the skin, there's satellites in the blood, but it's headquartered in the gut. Shingles is an immune problem. So by definition, I'm just talking common sense here, if you've got an immune problem, you've got a digestive problem, whether you know it or not. And many times we don't recognize it. But by definition, if you've got an immune issue, you've got a, digest, a digestive condition that needs to be addressed. Why is this important? Well, if we take care of the shingles, Jody, what are you going to do next week when it comes back? or next month? What are you going to do when other signs of degenerative disease start to show up? You see what I'm saying? So blood sugar first, then go. Then I'd be working on the digestive system, not first, not sequentially, but at the same time. The digestive system, probiotics, get them on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, have them start eating fermented foods, um, fermented veggies especially. Does he have any digestive issues that you know of that are, that are chronic? Does he? Yeah. Um, he... Sometimes. Heartburn, gas, bloating, stuff like that, constipation. Yeah. Okay, okay. All, that, those, are all th those are all linked to the shingles, Jody. Do you see where we're going here? This is not something you're going to get from the medical model, the, const the, the link between his heartburn and constipation and his immune system. Listen, Jody, got, uh, i got to go. That's all the time I have for today. Get him on those supplements, stabilize the blood sugar, work on the digestive system, and you can beat this thing. Thanks for your call. Great. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a beautiful, awesome, spectacular day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.